to my channel and welcome to our back to school haul for this year. So I have a rising second grader and a rising fifth grader. So it's busy, busy, busy around here getting ready. Lots of school supplies. We needed new uniforms, new shoes, the whole nine yards. Everyone even needed socks. It is what it is. So uh, we went shopping mainly on tax free weekend in person, trying a bunch of stuff on, you know how that goes. And then some stuff we ordered online. Um, and some deals that we had found. So, Target, Walmart, Old Navy, all those things. We got lots of stuff to talk about, lots of stuff to show you. Okay, also, I wanna share with you some exciting news about today's partnership, um, and the partner for today's video is Mint Mobile. Um, if you've been here at all before, you've probably heard me talk about Mint Mobile. We love them, they have been great to work with fantastic customer service and they are running that promotion again where you can get unlimited talk text and data for $15 a month so I'm really excited to share with share them with you today I know that you're going to love Mint Mobile as some of you have signed up and have told me about it and I love hearing your experiences so if you have Mint Mobile please comment down below and let me know what you think and this is the perfect opportunity to talk about Mint Mobile and look for ways to save money because we are, as parents and grandparents, and if you're taking care of kids in any kind of way and you are part of this signing up for school and getting everything ready and all of those things and all the school supply list costs and all the things that we need. And if you're like me, you love to support our teachers, you wanna be involved but it's expensive, right? So Mint Mobile can be an awesome opportunity for you to save some money and help put those funds elsewhere towards back to school supplies or the upcoming holidays. Uh, very quickly fall and winter will be here. And so we'll have lots of holidays there too. So lots of ways to save money with Mint Mobile. And I really do think back to school time is the perfect opportunity to get signed up with Mint Mobile. So Mint Mobile makes it super duper easy to switch. You can call them or you can do it online. And if you don't have a phone that like has an eSIM card, you they will mail you one for free. They can also send you, like you can also get a new phone directly through them and then in which case it would come ready to go like that. And then they'll get you all set up and you can pay monthly or every three months or every 12 months. Whatever you want to do, these new plans, if you sign up using my code, are $15 a month per line, unlimited talk, text, and data. You cannot beat that. It is such an insanely good deal, so I am really excited to share that with you. So make sure that you go to trymintmobile.com slash Brady, B-R-A-D-Y, and that will take you to that offer screen to help you get signed up and walk you through all those steps. You cannot beat the deal for unlimited talk, text, and data. It's just a phenomenal deal. Okay, I think that's everything there with our partnership with Mint Mobile. Let's jump on in and see what school supplies we picked up this year. Okay, so here's the table. <laughs> it is full, very, very full. And so, first of all, I am very, very thankful that we were able to do this at all. Um... It took us like eight and a half hours of shopping and we are reusing backpacks. I'll share that story or that idea there for you in a minute. Um, but between trying on shoes and trying on clothes, that's not even counting like all the stuff that I ordered online because we had a really hard time finding uniforms in store around us. It was a whole thing. Also, not on the table, um, underwear that I bought folks. Um, some, a few clothing items for tax-free weekend that we got, my husband and I. What else? Um, the extras that I purchased, like extra crayons, extra markers, extra glue sticks, extra erasers, all those sort of things for here um, that I buy this time of year and when they're tax-free. Those are not here also because they would not fit on the table. <laughs> so I just put those extras um, in my desk and they'll be just fine there. Uh, what else? Also, um, I did order new lunch boxes. Those are from Pottery Barn Teen. I believe both of the backpacks are as well. And then, uh, but I got a really good deal. They were 20 bucks a lunch box. And then 
what else did I get? Oh, I had a 20% off your total purchase coupon, plus 5% off with my red card, plus I had another $50 uh, like rebate cash gift card to Target, plus it was tax-free weekend on clothes, shoes, and school supplies. So we got a really good deal. It should have been well over $200 at Target, but with all of that, I paid $65, which, you know, that saves a ton of money right there. Granted, it would have been like $115 or whatever if I hadn't used that $50 gift card. But we got a lot of stuff using that 20% off like a one-time digital coupon there. So I was glad that we were able to maximize that. Also, there's a couple of other things still coming that are not on the table. I'm going to do my best to share all of that with you when it does get here. But I had all of this stuff sitting in my living room. And so it was time to film it. So their school requires uniforms and this is our first year needing uniforms so I bought a lot of uniforms because we had nothing nothing at all that would work uh not even our socks would really work I mean I guess the socks are not don't have to be I don't know if they have to be uniform or not but we did it so including like a jacket that they would wear in there has to be in their school colors so everything had to be kind of this mix of khaki navy they can wear jeans. My girls are not big on jeans, but they can wear jeans. And then they have to have a collared shirt in either green or white. So we've got kind of a mix of those things here. So I'll just show you what I've got. This side is for my second grader and this side is for my fifth grader. So um, we got jeans at Old Navy for my second grader. She picked out the flare. That's what they both went with. We're waiting on the other ones. For my fifth grader and then she picked out or maybe i found these at old navy they were like nine dollars for these little pants and they're loose but they're comfy but they're you know uniform appropriate they can have black on the bottom as well so we got those and then i got three khaki skorts from the cat and jack brand oh because also target had and these do have the shorts in them because they're the skorts um, and they're like a really stretchy material, but they're not pure athletic wear, if that makes sense. So these are the school uniform things. They were on sale for like $9 or $10. And then you got, they were, I bought these when they were running the deal where if you bought $40 worth of Cat and Jack kids clothes, including uniforms, you save $10 instantly. Plus I had the 5% off of my red card. So I did that deal a couple of times and rolled a couple of other gift cards that we had to really maximize how much we spent on that. So that was a really, really good deal. Like I think I got some of the shirts for three or $4, um, even cheaper than any of the Old Navy or uh, Children's Place sales that we saw. So I grabbed three of those identical skorts, three of the same skort in navy blue for her. Yeah, it's got the little faux buttons on the front and the shorts. So I grabbed or I ordered three of those in navy blue, three khaki skorts, a pair of black pants, and a pair of jeans. And then I also got a pair of like flared leggings in black. And then they did not have the junior's size, which is what I needed to get for my fifth grader. They didn't have leggings out just yet for her, but they did have it. At Old Navy, these were $5 a piece. So I grabbed two black. We certainly don't need leggings right now. Also, my fifth grader has leggings that still fit. My second grader does not. So we cleaned out all of our drawers and everything. Went through everything we had before I did any purchasing because I wanted to make sure what fit, what didn't, what we truly needed so that we were not just buying stuff. So I did get a pair of navy blue and then two black pairs of leggings for her. And then at the Skechers store, so we have a Skechers like outlet store, and this is too big for her. It is too long, and especially in the arms. She does not care. <laughs> it was an extra small. These were on sale for $34.99, which is kind of steep, but it does go with their school colors. And so it's $34.99, but because we were at the little outlet Skechers, they were actually buy one, get one half off. So 
So were their shoes, you'll see that in a minute. But since that was such a good deal, I did go ahead and get that. She picked navy and then you'll see my fifth grader picked white. Okay, children's place was at the time, I think there's probably a better deal now, but at the time we were shopping, children's place had the best deal on these little polo dresses and they can wear these. So I got her a navy blue and I think those ended up being 11 or $12 each. And then I got her also a green. And then they can do the jumpers with a collared shirt underneath. So I got this one for my second grader. And I sized up a little on these for her so that she could grow into them. But I just got the navy blue jumper and then we'll put a white, one of the white polos underneath it. Okay. And then I got a bunch of white polos. I think I got seven for her. But I did get a couple that are, like, I got some that are medium and some that are large. They both fit. Obviously, the large has more wiggle room, but I wanted to have some things for her to grow into because she's right on the cusp of that. Got her some socks, too. Just, they needed some different socks that they could wear with their uniforms and with their shoes. So, I got these knee-high socks in white and black for her. And then the crew socks in the gray, the navy, and the black. And then we found this little pack of six of like the tan white and this mauve color that she can wear. Other times, I got this big old thing at TJ Maxx of socks for, or socks, four hair ties for $4.99 at uh, TJ Maxx. So there's like 250, I think, or maybe a hundred altogether. I'm not sure. There's a lot of those there. I did get her some undershirts and then that one I think was also at Target with that 20% off. And then these socks are from Skechers. Again, buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one half off. And so these are just more for around the house. We needed all new fresh socks. Okay, let's go clothes for my fifth grader and then we'll talk shoes and school supplies over here and go back to my fifth grader or we'll loop around. I'm not really sure. I got her a polo dress as well. I got hers from Amazon in the junior size in the navy blue. And then I found these like really comfy athletic skorts, but they, they do fit dress code. So I got this, it was a three pack. And so it had like a green that wouldn't work, but it did have this black and the khaki on Amazon for like $36 for three skirt skorts. So I got that because, you know, it's always good to have an extra one. She'll wear the other color at home or out and about, whatever. So we'll have that. And then I got her green. Oh, I skipped over the green polos. I grabbed, I think, three green polos for my second grader. And then I got a couple of different brands. That's why they're two different like tones. They're just the same type shirt. I got a few, three or four green polos in the Cat and Jack. And then one of these French toast ones from brand, like their, their brand of polos um, and uniforms from Amazon, as well as a white one like that. And then a couple of the Cat and Jack white polos. Same thing for her. I got three of those skorts in khaki and three of those skorts in navy. She got a black pair of pants as well. And they're just like uniform black flared pants. And then another pair of like the flared yoga pant pants. There's her white Skechers jacket. So she'll wear that. Here's her dress socks. She has more socks um, for whatever reason. You know, I think it's just as they get a little older. <laughs> they're not quite so hard on clothes. Um, my second grader is definitely in that rough on clothes stage. I got her three of their camisole undershirts from Target, the Cat and Jack brand. Got her these from Amazon, these socks. Any of this stuff from Amazon that I can, I will try to link. And then I got her some knee-high white socks. I wasn't sure how much she would be wanting to wear the knee-high socks. So that's why I didn't get her as many. And these are like crew length in there. And then she just got some, you know, at-home socks as well from Skechers. Again, with that buy one, get one half off. Okay. Let's talk her school supplies and shoes, and then we'll go back over to my second grader. Okay, so markers. It did not say if they needed to be the regular or the skinny markers. So I got two packs of regular markers, one pack of the like fine tip, and one pack of colored pencils. 
crayons. They only requested one box, but I put two in there and then we've got extras too if they want them. Six packs of two glue sticks, so 12 glue sticks. I think they only requested four or six, but I always try to send in extras. They actually had to ship me all of these glue sticks. I ordered 20 packs total between both girls and then having some at home. And they were 25 cents each, plus I had the 20% off, plus the 5% off, plus they were tax free. So we paid like next to nothing for the glue sticks and everything too. But anyways, that's why they all have this weird sticker on them. I do not know. They all came in a big box. Okay, the eraser pals were $5 from Walmart, but this is just something for them to put in the treasure box type thing that's usually on all the teachers' wish list. I got post-it notes from Amazon. I think it was like $6 for both of these because I got them each, one of these little eight packs of those. She needs four one-subject notebooks. Oh, there's only two sitting here, but I... I will grab her two more and she'll be set to go because they're wide ruled. And the other ones that I have, unfortunately, are college ruled, so I need to switch those out. Um, they each needed four folders, so I just got four of the same color. One said with prongs, one said with pockets and prongs. I don't know. I just got them all with pockets and prongs and they can figure it out. It didn't have to be specific colors, so I did not do that. But I did go with the Five Star brand because they do last longer. Okay, so I got a pink, a blue, a yellow, and a purple. She needed two packs of filler paper. So I got those. They each needed cardstock in multicolor and then copy paper. So I got those for each of them. You'll see that's the same. They each needed a watercolor, washable watercolors. Last year, they did not even use these at all. They never even opened them, not even one single time. So I did go with the Mondo Llama brand this year because in case it doesn't actually get used. Normally I'm a Crayola person for most of that stuff, but you know. All right, these were $2 for these highlighters. I thought they were fun. They each got one of these because they both needed highlighters. She needed a binder. So I got her a three ring binder. It's a one inch in pink, 50 cents for the Elmer's school glue. And then the cap erasers, I think, were like 47 cents. They needed those. And the big erasers, both of them did. So I got the big erasers, a six pack, or yeah, six pack. And then these I got for like 56 cents each on Amazon. These twist and sharp manual pencil sharpeners. I don't know. And then for $11 each, I got 72 pencils. They are the Ticonderoga, they are sharpened. Um, and I like that they come in individual boxes. So if you wanted to split these up with your kids, you could definitely do, do that. I got these from BJ's. The ones at Sam's um, are not sharpened. So I did go ahead and get them from BJ's because they're sharpened. So I got those. We'll keep, we'll send five of those individual boxes to class. One box will stay here so that we have pencils for homework and all those sort of things. If we, excuse me, if we have them. Expo markers, they needed like, I don't know, eight or something. I, this was a better deal. The 18 count at Sam's Club was $12 and some change, like $12.48. So I just picked up two of those. They always want more on their wish list. The kids fly through them when they use them on their whiteboards. You can never have too many Expo markers. And the 18 count is just the better deal compared to everything else I looked at. So that's what I did. They each needed a jar of disinfecting wipes, a canister of those. So I just got the three pack of the small ones. These were part of me doing the spin 50, get a $15 gift card at Target. So I did that. And then they each needed a box of tissues, but I just got the four pack of tissues there. And we'll just send the whole thing in with her. And then she needed shoes. Well, they both needed shoes. So she got these. These are True Land brand. I got these on Amazon. These are so nice um, and they were only about $30. So I was really pleased with those. So I wanted to get her a brown pair. The goal was one pair of tennis shoes each, one pair of brown, ten of brown dress shoes and one pair of black dress shoes. And then anything else after that was just extra. So that's what we did there. I got that and then I got, uh, I think we got these from Off Broadway. Yeah, she picked out these ballet flats with the little whatever that's called strap on there thank you 
And then Skechers, buy one, get one half off. So we did two sets. We did get some of the slip-on shoes. Nope, these are not the slip-ons, are they? No. So we got these as just her regular lace-up tennis shoes. Those are the ones that she picked. And these are the slip-ons that she picked, also Skechers. These are the Skechers Bob's Sport hands-free slip-ins. So these are really nice. They do have a stiffer back there that helps you just slide your foot right in there. So again, um, those slip-ons were extra for both of them really, but they are rough on shoes. It's just part of, <laughs> part of back to school time. We're just rough on shoes. It is what it is. So they'll definitely go through those. Again, I mentioned the backpacks are from last year. I am going to run them through the, the washing machine with some OxyClean. Just freshen them up, but they both still look really good in really good condition. You can tell like that's last year's backpack just needs to be washed. And then there's the brand new lunch boxes. You can see they're both still in really good condition. They did not have the matching lunch box again for my second grader. So we got her fat tie dye that sort of matches. Then they both needed new water bottles. So this one matches her backpack. I got that one from Pottery Barn on clearance. And so was this food jar on clearance. We already have one of the small thermos jars in teal. So she can, my second grader can use that one. And then my fifth grader needed some like regular size scissors. So I picked these up for her from Walmart, I think. And then we did the simple modern brand on Amazon for their cups, other than that Pottery Barn one. So they have a straw, but they're very minimal, minimal pieces. I can't get this to come up. Oh, it goes this way. Duh. So there's that spout. And then that does come with an extra straw and all of the parts and pieces can go in the dishwasher. So that is always on my, always something I'm looking for. Okay. They each needed headphones. So I got these on Amazon because they use Chromebooks and iPads in their classroom. And then I got her this pencil pouch from Target as well. This one's from Target too. It's the Squishmallows brand. This is for my second grader. And then I guess we're starting on my second grader going this way. Okay. There's her lunchbox from Pottery Barn Teen. Then I got her headphones from Amazon as well. She did both of her water bottles from Simple, Simple Modern, I think. Yeah, Simple Modern. Um, so I got her, you can tell this one I think is the 18 ounce. And then these are either 14 or 16 ounces, 14 ounce. But they have the same spout and come with an extra straw, easy to clean. Straw just pops out and you throw all of this in the dishwasher. She picked out Bluey and then the Sky and Everest Paw Patrol. So we got those cups from Amazon. Okay, we talked about her socks and her undershirts. Markers, I did the exact same thing here. I got the two packs of the regular markers, colored pencils, and the fine tip markers. Hers did ask for two boxes of crayons, so I grabbed four to send in extras. Then she did need quite a few glue sticks, so there's a total of 12, maybe more than that. No, 12 glue sticks here for her. No, 16 glue sticks for her, there. Um, $5 for the eraser pals. Again, just something to put in the treasure box. She got the same Ticonderoga pencils, same cap erasers, highlighters, the twist and sharp, like 56 cents on clearance on Amazon for that. The six pack of erasers there from Target, same Expo markers, disinfecting wipes, and a four pack of tissues. And then let me show you her brown dress shoes are these from Amazon, this Felix, Felix and Flora brand. We have purchased shoes for her for a couple of years now in this brand, and I really like them. They're about $25.99, $27.99, depending on the style, but they hold up so well. Um, these are great. So I got these that are like the matte finish on those, and then I also got this black pair. And they're super shiny with the bow. And they, again, they are the Felix and Floor brand. Okay, what else? Post-it notes. I showed you those. A, I ordered the pink one, but they gave me the clear, which is fine. I wasn't sure if she still needed. The school supply list was not super clear on if she still needed a hard case. So I did go ahead and get one just so that we have it in case she does need that. 
She needed four composition notebooks, so I got four of those. Red, blue, green, and purple. Four folders again, so she got blue, pink, purple, and yellow. Cardstock and copy paper for her as well. And then let's look at her shoes real quick. And that'll be everything that's on the table so far. These are extra because I did already get these black shoes ordered, but we found these um, in the next size up for her on clearance for like, I think these ended up ringing up like $9 or something crazy at Off-Broadway Shoes. So I did go ahead and get those so that she'll have some extras to grow into. And she also found these Skechers on clearance at Off-Broadway Shoes. So she got an extra pair of these. These are, again, I think these end up being like $18 or something. They were on a crazy good clearance. And then from Skechers, same thing. We got a pair of tie shoes and then a pair of like the slip-on shoes. So these are her slip-ons. They are super duper cute with the easy slip on for those as well. Those are just really a great thing. I love to have them have a pair of slip ons and a regular pair of tennis shoes. These tennis shoes light up. They even came with a sparkly wand, which thank goodness my husband caught because the pair we had picked up did not include the wand. And then he found these that had it like they were supposed to. So probably not gonna, oh, I can't make them light up. Look at that. So they light up. They are super duper cute. She is all about the light up shoes still. And so we're gonna we're gonna enjoy that while we still while we still care about it, right? Okay, that's everything that is on the table. Again, I'm gonna wash their backpacks. Got a couple of other random things still coming, like a blue jumper for my fifth grader, and her jeans are coming. What else? I think that's it though. We are ready to get all of this washed up and assembled and ready to go because school starts very, very soon. If I get a chance, I'll throw it on the end for you of the extra stuff that's still coming in the mail. Okay, that's everything that I've got, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know either if you're watching this and you're going to school yourself, what grade you're going into, what college, whatever. And then if you are shopping for your kiddos or kiddos in your life or shopping to donate, let me know where you're shopping and some awesome deals you found. If you have tax-free weekend in your area, let me know how that went if you shopped it. It really wasn't as bad as I was afraid it was going to be uh, until we got to Old Navy. And then it just, all bets were off when we got to Old Navy. But I think that's everything, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, I will see you in the comments down below. Bye, y'all.